it kind of breaks my heart, really, because, you know, love and sex and relationships and stuff, these are things that I really did like talking about back in the day. Um, and now it feels like, like my view of things, you know, my, my clear and my clear and healthy perspective on that kind of stuff is uh, slowly being phased out, it's slowly being turned away and shunned by groups like feminists and groups like men's rights activists and stuff like that. The pickup people, the pickup people in my opinion, they're the worst, they're the least harmful of the three, they're the least uh, toxic, but the other two, men's rights and uh, Feminists, really, in my opinion, they're they're bad news, um, and this includes some of my Facebook friends too. Uh, so I may just stop talking about that kind of stuff altogether. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm really I'm no relationship guy. I know how to get a woman out on a date, and that's about it. You know what I mean? But I think that's important. Because uh, a lot of men don't know that, don't know how to do that. And they don't know how to make moves without, you know, getting shot down, or they don't know how to make moves without, um, without uh, being, you know, accused of something that they don't want to be accused of, and stuff like that. But is it really my place to save them? And that's, that's my uh, current uh, conundrum at the moment. Um, I like talking about these things. I like, uh, you know, I like asking the $50,000 questions that no one dares to ask, you know what I mean? Um, you know, it's similar to CM Punk, you know what I mean? Like, I have the balls to say what no one else dares to say. And the, and the things, and the, and you know, what people don't have the balls to say is that, is that I believe that feminism is is just as bad nowadays as men's rights are. You know what I mean? They're both greedy groups that focus on creating their own uh, their own world that they can rule. You know what I mean? Which to me is very selfish and ignorant, and it, it, it needs to it needs to end. It really does. It's it's something that I don't like being a part of. And anyone who else is a, was a part of it. Um, you know, just, you need to, okay, I remember reading, um, if anyone knows who Stephen Covey is, he's the guy who wrote the, um, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, he had a kid, and his kid, uh, so I need water, because I'm, the voice is dying over here. didn't come, come on. Stephen Covey had a kid. And his kid wrote, like a, like a, like a, like a for teens kind of book, you know what I mean? Like, and it was called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teenagers. Alright? Excellent book, I remember reading. It was awesome. Junior year of high school. And, um, And it was a good quote. It was, uh, control your destiny or someone else will. Uh, and I honestly think that the, the, the adult version of that is, um, choose your, choose your own values or else someone else will. And that's what feminists and men's rights activists uh, are running into. They're just joining a group because they feel like they belong in it and said group is hell-bent on making everyone like them, you know what I mean? And to me, that's pretty scary. Um, to me, you know, that, that means that if, if you're gonna, if you're gonna insult and, and have an us versus them mentality against something as, you know, but something as shallow as, you know, a woman's role in video gaming, you know what I mean? Like, 
if, if you're going to have such a passionate yet few that is not even your own on that, then what are your other views? And what kind of, what are your other values that, what other values that you have that could be, you know, influenced by this? You know what I mean? We're highly, these days, we're, we're highly um, impressionable. Uh, men and women, uh, kids and adults alike. We're, and, we're, and we're impressionable because we're looking for an easy, quick fix. We're not looking to work hard. We're not working to make changes and and determine our own values from the things we encounter, okay? We like to pick a side, and then we like to make others join that side. What the hell is that? Oh, cool. Aww. I thought I was going to do something awesome. Oh, well. Maybe it's like Remedy on everybody. I don't know. I think I'm going to be good after this grinding session, for now anyways, and eventually I'll uh, be able to grind on other better, easier players, or easier areas, or more difficult areas, I mean, damn it. Yeah. And one thing I'm really proud of, um, is despite the fact that I've been influenced by a lot of um, a lot of things that you know have been destructive and have been and have been negative and have had you know and have had that group think mentality, I've been able to grow and grow out of that. You know what I mean? Where a lot of people my age um, and yeah, my age and even older are you know. are just a part of it, and they don't even know what they're a part of, you know what I mean? Um, and I'm seeing this on my Facebook a lot. I'm seeing this on my Facebook with feminism, and I, I'm seeing it online in general with men's rights, with, with men, you know what I mean? Like, and it is really... Uh, and I, I, I was the same way, okay? I was the same way when I was growing up. I was the same way with punk rock, you know what I mean? I remember, I remember it was like, I was like, alright, Anyone who doesn't bad, anyone who doesn't like bad religion isn't my friend. Back in the day, 15 or so years ago. In fact, exactly 15 years ago, really. Yeah. And then I heard a song called No Direction, also from Bad Religion. And in it, in it, you know, the, the, one of the verses is like, you know, no bad religion song can make your life complete. So even they were just against what they were talking about. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, think for yourself. Don't think for us. Don't have us think for you, that's not cool. You know what I mean? And it isn't cool. Alright, yeah. And that's what I'm trying to get at here. You know what I mean? And it's difficult to create your own set of values. And it's even it's even more difficult to stand by them when they're challenged. It really is. I mean and it's and you know you really need to learn when to walk away and when not to, uh, and when to really, and, and when to really, you know, fight the good fight. I mean, I went on some video. There was this one chick who was talking about, oh yeah, you know, you know, nice guys. You know, if you're a nice guy and you like, and you like putting women on pedestals and stuff like that, well, you know, your day will come. You know, you'll just have to get with women after they've, you know, run through. You know, women who they, guys who they, who they're sick of hooking up with. You know what I mean? And to me, that's a very, uh, to me, that's a very toxic thing to say. Just to say that you know, oh, if you, if you have that nice guy mentality, you have no hope until you know the women you want, you know, hit thirty. You know what I mean? Or thirty-five, or even forty. Like by then, in my opinion. And in my, in, in, yeah, in my opinion, like a woman's not even worth settling down with by that point because she, is already, you know, she's already, she's already been through a whole lot of crappy relationships, and she's going to be, you know, really, really cynical and not as, it's not going to be as fun and new, you know what I mean? Personally, I'm not going to settle down ever, you know what I mean? Like I'm not planning on it. 
I mean, like, a woman would really have to win me over, like, completely. You know what I mean? For me to settle down. But, you know. The chances of me settling down with a woman who's 25 is definitely better than with a woman who's 35. Because the 25-year-old still has, you know, uh, what was it called? Still has potential. Still has upside. You know what I mean? They can still learn. They can still learn from each other. You know what I mean? And I'll watch. People are going to be like, oh, that's a sexist comment. Maybe it is. But it's a value that I have. It's a value that I borrowed from what they call misogynists. Is that a misogynistic thing to say, really? I mean, look at how shallow that is. You know what I mean? And yes, I'm being shallow when I say that. But, does that mean that I think that women who are over 35 are not worth my time? Fuck no! I'd love to I'd love spending time with people like that. I like spending time with anybody who doesn't drag my day down. You know what I mean? Doesn't matter who the fuck they are. You know, it could be a friggin' 60 year old woman. Makes no difference to me. So whatever. So it's all very shallow. You know what I mean? And when, when, and forming your own beliefs, your own values, you really need to you, you need to borrow freely from from others and not fall in, and not and resist the temptation to make their beliefs your beliefs and make their values your values. You know what I mean? It's very important. And you know what? Our society preaches against that so much. It really does. It preaches against that like you would not fucking believe. And the reason why is because... Because of money, because of influence, because of power, because of respect, because of all these concepts that are free... That they're fleeting, okay? You run out of money. You run out of power. You'll run out of respect, too. Trust me, you will. But people don't want to tell you that. They want to tell you that, oh, you know, oh, you need to, you need to find a mentor. No, that, that's one of the worst things you can do is find a mentor, because then you're gonna have to mimic everything that they do. I like to find a group of mentors. What I do is I surround myself with three types of people. I surround myself with people who are better than me, people who are on the same level as me, and people who I'm doing better than. The guy I lived with last year. I was doing way better than him in relationships, in in a, in, a, in lifestyle, and everything like that. You know what I mean? I had a better lifestyle than him. Uh, I'm not saying he was depressed or upset or mad or angry. It's just you know I was I was more successful with women than he was. Um, you know. Uh, let's see. You know, I was uh, doing, I was just doing a lot better than him in general, you know what I mean? Like, I knew how to clean my place, he didn't know how to do it, you know what I mean? He was able to learn a lot, and I learned more, I learned a lot teaching him than I would from anyone teaching me. You need someone like that in your life, you really do. And then I had people who are on the same level as me, you know what I mean? They had a full-time job, uh, you know, they, they, they were physically fit. Um, they had a decent love life, or were, or were able to develop one at will, which is why I like to say I'm able to develop a love life at will. You know what I mean? And it worked out very well. You know what I mean? So yeah. Anyways, I'm done grinding. So I have time. To do this. Yeah, I do have time to do this. All right. Well, let me go ahead and uh, let's get Terra on the party. Yeah. I want to get Terra on the party this way. Not because I not because I don't want to grind her because I really do need her to grind as well. But, um, actually, no. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna get turned on the party. No. Where am I? Damn it. Let me find a place here. Oh, okay, good. Okay. I want to get another player as well as. The treasure. Yeah. There we go. Awesome. Alright. Uh, I want you to have spur shoes. There we go. Alright, nice. 
There's an enemy here called Zone Eater that can swallow your players. It will either cast Demi or it will swallow you. Hopefully it will swallow you. Nice. Dummy. It's right back. <laughs> it's right back. Feed me more. Anyways, my last word on values is develop your own values. Don't be afraid to steal from other people. Don't be afraid to align yourself with people who are doing better or as good as you so you can learn from them. Don't. Oh, crap, use Demi again, really? Don't be afraid to align yourself with people who are doing a lot worse than you or a little bit worse than you. Um, this way you can learn by teaching them and stuff like that. And if you if you don't latch on to the uh, to extreme beliefs, then you're gonna do really good. You're gonna do just fine. Anyways, let's ex let's explore. Yeah, let's do it. Gotta get around these guys. Nice. Genji armor, good shit. I don't want to get knocked. I don't want to get knocked down there. Get a magical brush. I'll sell that for money. Damn it! Uh, weak sauce. That's fine. I'll get these treasures anyways. Ether, I don't care about. Red jacket's pretty good for uh, Edgar and Saban. Which I'm going to use them in my party for most of the, most of the time. Nice. Nice. I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna get the uh, fake mustache on here. That's what that chest is, it's fake mustache. Alright, let me save here because I do tend to die here. Alright, so it took a little bit under an hour to do grinding. That's fine. Hmm. Yeah. I usually can't do this without dying. I mean, I saw the speedruns be able to freaking get everything, yeah, and like in like one fell swoop. But I'm not, I'm not that good. I could be that good if I, you know, apply myself and practice and stuff like that. But this isn't bowling. This is gaming. Gaming is secondary to bowling when it comes to my hobbies. So, so this is GoGo. -Go. Counter him in Final Fantasy V as well. He's a mime. And he can mimic stuff, which is awesome. And yes, I will probably use him. Uh, only bad thing is that he can't, um, he can't make of, uh, he can't make use of, he can't equip espers, so he can't, um, and he can't, Get magic and attack bonuses and stuff like that. So yeah. Oh, I don't have a warp stone, do I? Damn it. That's unfortunate. Oh well, let me uh, stop this video and then I'll just run out and that'll be the end of it.